Good morning. Lovely to have a full room of people and to be meeting in real life. Welcome to the Alternative Investment Management Summit, London edition. My name is Sasha Kadri and I'm very pleased to be here with a formidable group to discuss the need for bold and urgent action on international climate finance. Do you think with the, with the pause and the reset that we're all allowed to do right now because of COVID, do you expect to see that change when you meet with businesses, when you meet with organisations? We're already seeing it changing. So the level of both of knowledge and of focus on this area at board level has increased immensely just in the last 18 months. So far, we've talked a lot about the business environment and the macroeconomic environment for 2020. What do you expect the, the general business environment to be for the next 12 to 18 months? I'd like to start off by looking at the investing side in crypto. Twice as many men invest in crypto than women. At the age group 18 to 29, it's 19% of women and 43% of men. We still have the gender issues. Why has it fallen into that same pattern? No, it actually doesn't surprise me. Minister Mezzamurillo, does it make a difference to you that we have countries like Italy who are, you know, co-president of COP26, heading up D20, and, you know, really prioritizing climate action? Will that impact countries like Costa Rica? Thank you. Thank you for the invitation, Sasha. This panel discussion, it's about planning for the unexpected and demonstrating leadership in the face of macroeconomic events upon which you have very little control. And if there was one thing that you could both change within your industry, what would that be? I would love to see us be a little bit more representative of the world that we have. People in key creative positions uh, would really be able to help kind of change the tide of how things are. Asma, let's talk a little bit about the Rose Review that was conducted in 2019 by Alison Rose, CEO of RBS. Uh, the central finding in that report was that the single biggest issue holding female entrepreneurs back at every stage of their journey was a lack of funding. Has that been your experience? Absolutely. Female founders are jumping hoops. No one else is jumping. And there we should leave it. Thank you very much to my panelists, to Sean, Margaret and Dave. Thank you very much. Yes.